all right all gold comet is done all that's left to do is take out the factory and we will be done with this continent once and for all allies will join forces in the next battle work together to destroy the factory pipe they they come this far that can only mean adder explain yourself Who's there? Hawk? You quiet little bird. Don't sneak up on me like that. You're behind schedule. What have you been doing all this time? Uh, well, we hit a teeny weeny snag. And things got delayed. But, but it's not a problem. We'll be in control of this country soon. You have my word. Adder, do you understand what my being here means? Um, if I win... If I went here, there's no problem, right? Th that's correct, isn't it? If you win. At last, the enemy's factory. If we claim victory here, we can drive the enemy out from our homeland. Uh. Then let us begin. Commander. The leader of the Blue Moon Army is here to see you. It's been a while, Kambe. Mm. Well, if it isn't Olaf, then what do we owe the honor of your presence? We sure come and threaten this black hole army. I've come with my best soldiers in tow. Blue Moon will stand beside you in this fight. Oh. We are very grateful. The Gold Comet and Blue Moon joining forces, Black Hole is as good as defeated. Sir! The Commander in Chief of the Orange Star Army is here. Commander Kambe, I'm honored to stand by your presence. Mm -hmm. Commander Nell, at ease, friend. The Gold Comet welcomes you as always. Huh. Very well, I'll get straight to business. I want you to propose an I, I want to propose an alliance for this battle. The Black Hole Army is a threat to Gold Comet and Orange Star alike. We are very grateful. With the Gold Comet and Orange Star Alliance, Black Hole will suffer a swift defeat. Alright, alright, alright. It's time to pick who we want to send into this battle. Uh, now, we will have to pick a Gold Comet CEO because, of course, it is the, the nation that we are doing a campaign for at the moment. And I think I'm going to go with Sensei. <laughs> As for our second CO, because unfortunately we can't have two Gold Common COs, we are going to go with... Mm, mm, Colin. Reporting for duty. I was debating on either Colin or Grid, but I think Colin would be the better choice of the two for this type of mission. Especially with the fact that Grid already did the the Blue Moon's uh, factory mission. So it makes sense that Colin needs to get a little bit more love in the field. Now is the moment of truth. Right. People will go common. Let's work together and do our best. Right. So the layout of this place, as you can see, it's very naval focused. The scene that we have to destroy right here behind this cannon, and the way we're going to be able to do this is I'm going to do my best to try and sneak some units over here. We're going to have to take out a couple of these cannons, at least mainly this one and this one. The bottom and the bottom two down here, we don't really have to worry about so much. But the thing we really need to worry about is like the main force coming out of here. Uh, the fact that Adder is going to be able to deploy air and naval units from these two spots in the factory, and air units from here as well as land units. As well as the space right here that Adder's going to use to try and start pushing up here. Colin, just get some infantry out. And Adder already has a battleship out in the field. I believe that every time that this mission starts, the Adder's always going to have a battleship coming out on the first turn, so be sure to plan accordingly to what's coming out of there. As for this, let's get ourselves an anti-air unit and some more infantry. Colin, we need to get that. Uh, let's... Now, we're going to need to focus on getting that uh, port captured for us, so we're just going to get that first guy up there, and we're going to get the second guy working on the cities. Okay, 
Let me see. Let's get you loaded up. get ourselves a tank and then I'm basically gonna try my best to save some money because we do have to afford to get a lander to get our troops ferried across to the other locations that's way too many battle copters Just short to get a submarine, unfortunately. I'm just gonna save what we have now because I need to afford that submarine. Yep, he's going... Nope, for the city. I thought he was going to go for the airport. He might be dropping off that 2nd Infantry in the back to the airport, now that I think about it. Alright, where is this battleship going to target? Basically everywhere I don't want it to. Wait one more turn before we get our submarine, just because it, that battleship would be able to target it, and it would be pretty much useless in avoid some money getting it out in the field. That, that port is covered, but we should be able to drop off our troops before, uh, no, I think his forces are going to, yeah, he's going to be able to start capturing that. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get there in time. So we'll just use our remaining resources to just start getting troops ferried over to the island. And I'll save up for a rocket so we can start hitting that cannon from over there. I believe if you're fast enough and if you're good with money with Kong, you can actually body block that dock up there with the transport. 
there's not really anything that its infantry can do because the infantry cannot target naval units except for this where it's vice versa good thing they captured that city before they got shelled Falling right from my trap. Okay, because none of the units can get over there at the moment, we'll body block that with the APC. While I try to formulate a plan to get my troops over there. I'm gonna lose the infantry, but at least it'll keep that battleship in place. For the time being, unless he gets wise and starts running. Ah, oh, you know what? I probably could have body blocked that with the the transport. Didn't know that his troops just stopped short. And crap! I was gonna buy rockets, not uh, a recon. What's he got coming down this way? Nothing at the moment. And up to the force is where it targets, so... I at least need to take out the, uh, one of those cannons. Sacrifice won't be in vain. I may have lost you guys, but at least we can now target this battleship without it having to run away from me. At least that battlecopter put him himself in a position where I can finally hit him. Let's get ourselves a battleship built so we can start heading up north to shell the cannons. Nope, don't wait. Capture. at least one space. Mm, I'll hold off on the reinforcements for a moment, see if I can actually build up to our super CO power. Forces are basically body blocked at this moment. So I think at this moment, this is when Outer's actually going to start getting some vehicles up north.
Alright, and I believe you target up to the second reef, so we'll put you right here within striking distance of, well, I'll create those black cannons. Take care of that battleship. And I don't think he, yeah, he doesn't have a battleship or cruiser out just yet. Let's get some artillery out so we can start slowing down his progress. Actually, if we can get our rockets right here, even though it's Colin, should be able to target the, the seam. If not the seam, at least we'll be able to hit the, the mini cannon that's sitting right there. If I can get the money for it, I can get some cruisers out so we can start countering these subs and battle copters that are starting to get a little too plentiful out in the open water. And by plentiful, I mean two, but that's two too uh, well, three, but that's th three too many. health, but hey, at least they, they're still holding the line, stopping that medium from coming down. I was kind of hoping you'd do a little bit more than just two damage. Should be enough money for a cruiser. No, but it is enough for a lander. In that case, as much as I want to get a cruiser, I, we need to go with anti air first and foremost. more of an enticing target. Let's just start taking some defensive spots around here and keeping my artillery safe. I'll do that just a little... Uh, no, because machines will be coming in either way. Hmm. I guess we'll fall back a little bit. The copters are probably going to come in, but at least they should be within range of the anti-air vehicle to at least take out one of them. And if I need just that slight amount of cash just to be able to get it, the cruiser to help protect the ocean, then I can just use my seal power to bring in some reinforcements.
Okay. Probably gonna start taking this guy over here after he's done capturing that city. So we should be able to keep any reinforcements from getting onto the island using the recon. And rockets will need to take position in the city to hit the cannon that's sitting right there. So yeah, if we play our cards right, we should be able to open up a hole big enough for us to get our troops through. Ooh, but not if he puts a Neo-Tank there. that you rose right up there and figure you'd use it to sneak down to attack my battleship oh that's bad I've never seen Adder put a bomber there before it's always just been battle copters Three to our CO power or super CO power. We got one more bar. Yeah, I think I'll keep some reserves, but I will get a mech unit out just to help hold the line. Basically, you're free to attack the cannon now, and you have unlimited ammo. Mm, yeah, let's get a battleship. I was debating either a battleship or a cruiser, but a battleship should be more than enough to handle whatever's up there. Well, if we have the money for it, we'll probably get a cruiser. But for the time being, I just want to kind of start being a little bit more offensive and taking out any defenses in this little port area so that way once we take care of the cannon we can just swoop in take that port and then we can move on to taking care of that or at least like holding this spot right here so that way we can take out the cannon and then maybe take out the seam as well Tight boys. I uh, really did wish you didn't attack those. Really wish you didn't attack those. All right, he's going up there. He's going for the or for the for the battleship. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but me thinks it's time to get some reinforcements. Right after we take care of this cannon. Make sure everybody's off cities. When this is done, let's go home.
All right, you. You are definitely the biggest threat right now. Body block just to uh, because that art and the artillery is going to target it regardless. In that case, I'm going to try to at least get this healed up a little bit. As for you, how much fuel do you have? You're running pretty low. I need to deal with that seven fast. My money's on it's gonna pop into the reef above my battleship and then use that to attack. So I'm just gonna use what little fuel we have left in the sub to hopefully finish it off or weaken it to a point that it runs away. The naval units are being so quiet. Like you don't hear like any like uh, sounds of the, of the propellers going. And so far, he hasn't tried to do an airborne assault on the small island over here, which is weird because usually he does it like really early. Then again, he is being very weird this time around because he's got a bomber out, and he, like I said, never does that. So I guess for the time being, let's just. Do a little bit of traffic jamming. At least until we can get some long range units out here to help pick up the pieces. Okay, we'll probably get it at least within striking distance of the seaport. So I want to say. Most likely, like right here. Hopefully he doesn't attack the artillery, because that cruiser is definitely a more enticing, or is that... Really? You're going for the mechs? I kind of figured you'd be going for the cruiser out of any anything here. I kind of figured that was going to happen. You're using... Okay. Okay, I have no idea what Adder is thinking here. I figured that the way he was going to go about that was he was going to use the artillery to hit the cruiser to make it weak enough for the bomber to finish it off, and then use the medium tank to finish off my artillery. Oh, he's using his medium to go after my medium, which I guess makes sense. Okay, the subs. Oh, the subs going for the the battleship. I've been juked. I'm gonna take out that bomber. I can always counter that infantry going for the seaport. But what I will not abide by is uh, that bomber going after my battleship and harassing it.
there to halt the advance, so we'll just get Anti-Air to help deal with these helicopters. I want to finish that black cannon or that mini cannon off. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure this thing is not a threat and hopefully force him to retreat to the, the docks. Good enough spot. A battle with me is a greater honor than you deserve. Oh yeah, he's starting to drop his troops off over there. Alright, the Neo Tank is starting to get very close, uncomfortably close actually, to our base. did not work out in your favor, did it, buddy? Okay. Very uncomfortably close to the base. I need to really think about how I'm going to hold them off. Just out of range of that, and both the artillery and the rockets. Cool. Though I feel like that's gonna get overwhelmed by the helicopters pretty soon.
if that's the case, then I can move my battleship up pretty close then. Unfortunately, the only good place to keep my helicopter, or my rockets, is in the city for that protection bonus. Actually, I'm going to move it back here just in case this decides they decide to send this up here to attack my sub. I can at least hit that cruiser with my rockets. I'll put you right there just to protect you a little bit from the helicopter. Though it's probably going to attack from above if I would have to guess. Actually, no, we can get a gold rush and we could probably get ourselves a fighter out here. Maybe a cruiser to help deter that battlecopter. There we go. Let's get that cruiser. I also need to start moving these guys around. Unfortunately, that is going to be a threat until we can... Actually, no, it should be able to target just that. for a moment. Sidewinder! <laughs> Alright, Adder, what are you gonna do here? I think he's trying to figure out how to go about this, and I think he went about it in the worst way possible, so far as it seems. Alright, battleship's wasted on that. Man, even with that force bonus, that's still a lot of damage these guys are taking. Granted, it's only two stars, but still, that's two stars of defense. You figure two stars would still be more than enough.
Seven mechs should be more than enough to put out here. <clears throat> but I might as well say goodbye to any naval units for Sensei, because there's no way we're ever going to be able to get the funds before Adder completely controls the docks right there. So we need to start wrapping this up, and we need to start wrapping this up fast. Let's get a fighter to help uh, counter these dudes. is technically safe. Are there any other safe spots? No. And that has basically all that ocean covered. disappear to again? I forgot. Okay, good news is, is that it doesn't look like there's so many battle copters out here anymore, so anti-air is not really as needed. Bad news, unfortunately, is that these heavy armor units keep pushing too far, and I think he's got even more on the way. Uh, he's got a regular tank coming this way. Oh, there's a couple, one battle copter sitting back there. Okay, things aren't great, but they could be worse. Thankfully, I got and get some more rockets. And the artillery should be able to take care of the Neo Tank. right here? Nope. I'm gonna feel very stupid. Okay, no, it wouldn't be there because the cruiser would have given it away. For the most part, we should be safe-ish. 
Missiles can't do anything about the fighter, and if I can just save up enough money, then we should be able to just use power money to just one-shot that scene right there and be done with this. Alright, we're just gonna skip through sensing. Uh, actually, no, we're gonna... We're gonna leave with a parting gift. The only reason I'm still doing this is just so we can get that power up. Sensei's turn. Colin, for the love of God, finish this for us. We can't hold out any longer. Yes! 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 My factory? It's completely... It's this blasted weather. That's the problem. These clouds always conspire against me. <laughs> Look, the Black Hole Army is retreating. Father, Sensei, we've won! <laughs> yeah, we did. And it was an impressive victory indeed. Today's battle will be long remembered. Though through our combined efforts, our common foe was defeated. I offer my deepest gratitude to your noble assistance. Yes. Nonsense, you would have done the same for us. Black Hole was foolish enough to, to try taking on Blue Moon as well, and we sent them packing, of course. With some help from our friends, and if it isn't Nell and her troops now. Commander Kambe, it's been a while, hasn't it? Huh. Commander Nell, I see you have something to report. Yes, while your victory is a step forward, the enemy is still much stronger than anything we face so far. It seems that you have crossed swords with Black Hole, the Black Hole Army too. That we have, and I believe that together we collectively face our lower ranking officers, but they still have commanders of immeasurable power. In particular, the CEO named Talk is to be kept under a watchful eye. Our reports indicate that he has Green Earth on the verge of defeat. <sighs> Impossible! There's no time to spare. We better... So we're off to help Green Earth. <laughs> Gold Comet stands beside you. Our strength is yours. With our forces combined, there's nothing we need fear. Congratulations, Gold Comet! <laughs> I like that Colin takes the... the credit for this. Even though this technically was a gold comet victory. 